Hey guys, Joseph here. We're here today to talk about dash cam battery packs because the last video that we made on dash cam battery packs was back in November 2021 when we launched the Black Box My Car PowerCell 8 battery. It's been a while. A lot has changed since then. I think we could all benefit from an update. Parking mode, hard wiring kit, or dash cam battery pack. Now, many of you will agree that the most important feature of a dash cam is the ability to capture hit and runs, vandalism, theft, and other incidents while your car is parked, and that feature is called parking mode. Now, to properly run parking mode, you need to give your dash cam access to a reliable power supply after you've powered down your car. One of the ways to do so is to hardwire the dash cam to your car's fuse panel. It is the most affordable option as dash cam manufacturers either already comes with a hardwiring kit or if it doesn't, you can always pick one up for under $30. But there are disadvantages to hardwiring a dash cam. And the number one concern is that it adds to your car batteries wear and tear. Cars are being left parked longer, which means car batteries have less time to recharge to fully support parking mode. So if you're worried about your car's battery and need to run parking mode on your dash cam, this is where we strongly recommend getting a dedicated dash cam battery pack. Sure, one could argue that the price can seem expensive up front, but as many Redditors like yourself have pointed out, a dash cam actually saved them from having to pay the insurance deductible, let alone the time and headache that you save from trying to prove your claim. Well, to start, you're gonna need one that's reliable, giving you the most power, and it's made by a reputable manufacturer. The company we trust is located in South Korea, and their name is eGen. They're behind all the battery packs that we sell. You've probably heard of them. So the Celink Neo, the Thinkware iVolt, Blackview Power Magic Ultra Battery, and the Black Box My Car Power Cell 8. So if you're curious how a battery pack is made, we've got a video on that too. Any battery pack that you purchase from the Black Box My Car website are great battery packs that you can trust. If you're looking for a smaller battery pack because you just don't have that much space inside your car to store it, then the smaller capacity Thinkware iVolt BAB50 would be a great starting point. It's a 4,500 milliamp battery pack that takes about 45 minutes for a full charge, but it's gonna give you 20 hours of parking mode runtime for a one channel dash cam or 16 hours for a dual channel system. Now, say you need to leave your car for a longer period, or maybe you have a higher resolution dash cam or a multi-channel system, then you're gonna need a battery pack that gives you even more juice. Let's talk about the Black Box My Car PowerCell 8. This is a 7,500 milliamp battery, 25% more capacity than the Celic Neo or the Blackview B124X, giving you 25% longer parking mode runtime. And the cool thing is you can even daisy chain additional expansion battery packs to it to double, triple, or even quadruple the overall capacity. That said, we do have a new challenger today that we're gonna be talking about from Blackview, the new Blackview B130X battery pack that just became available on our website. Eight, the Blackview Power Magic Ultra Battery B130X offers a capacity rating of 7,500 milliamps for a total capacity of 96 watt hours. To put that into perspective, a fully charged B130X will power a one channel DR900X Plus for up to 30 hours and the dual channel model for about 19 hours. So say if you want more power with the PowerCell 8, you can always daisy chain additional expansion battery packs to add more power. Unfortunately, it seems like with the Blackview B130X, they decided to take out the port for the expansion battery packs. And on the most part, we do agree that 7,500 milliamps is more than enough for daily drivers. But you never know when you're gonna be stuck in a meeting, your flight's canceled, or your car's snowed in. So having that extra power is gonna allow you to park more confidently. So there's a couple of ways to charge your dash cam battery pack. The easiest way is a simple plug and play setup that requires a 12 volt power cable. The downside of this is once you've powered down your car, you have to be sure to unplug the 12 volt power cable from your cigarette lighter socket. Cause if your 12 volt outlet is constant, it's gonna drain your car battery. The higher performance way is require hardwiring the battery pack to your car's fuse panel, but 
The upside is that it allows the battery pack to fully charge in 50 minutes, almost twice as fast with a charging current of 9 amps. Now, when you purchase your dash cam battery pack on Black Box My Car, it does come with two wiring cables to give you the option to choose between the plug and play setup or the high performance setup. Now, take a look at the battery packs that we offer. They do require you to specify the charging method. Low just means you're charging the battery pack the 12 volt plug and play way. High means you're hardwiring the fuse panel for a faster charge, but not on the B130X. The B130X automatically adapts to power draw to match the wiring method selected. All you gotta do is switch it on. But we can definitely see this becoming the new norm in future battery packs. All battery packs come with multiple output cable options. Let's start off with the most basic one, the cigarette lighter socket output cable. So this cable is designed primarily for dash cams with motion triggered parking mode like Blackview dash cams. So this means that Blackview dash cams go into parking mode after it's sensed that your car has been motionless for a period of time. Sometimes this might even happen if say you're stuck in traffic or if you're at a train stop. So for the ignition triggered parking mode dash cams, the cigarette lighter socket output cable, it's gonna power the dash cam and allow it to record continuously, but it's not gonna put it into parking mode. And for that, you're gonna need the dash cam hardwiring output cable. One end of the hardwiring output cable connects to the battery pack while the other end goes directly to the dash cam. And to make your installation a little bit easier, something we've done is we've gone the extra mile and pre-spliced some cables for your dash cam. You're gonna find these pre-spliced hardwiring output cables for Thinkware and VO4 dash cams available for the Black Box My Car PowerCell 8 battery. Now for the Blackview B130X, because the battery is designed to work primarily with the Blackview dash cams, the hardwiring cable will not be pre-spliced to work with other brands. Now, as you can see, there is no screen display on any of these batteries. So how do you access the settings? Well, for that, you use the battery app. With the Black Box My Car PowerCell 8, use the Celic Neo Plus app. The B130X, use the Blackview app. And with the iVolt BAB50, use the Thinkware iVolt app. With the app installed on your smartphone, you can manage the settings and check the battery performance with just a few taps of your finger. When you're charging, the app displays the charge percentage, charging voltage, and expected remaining time until full charge. With the B130X, Blackview came up with a better way. Thanks to a fuel gauge integrated circuit, the B130X battery can monitor and analyze the current coming in and out of the battery pack, especially when the battery is in discharge mode or parking mode. So to set the stage, all battery packs are designed to work with vehicles with a 12 volt electrical system. This includes most passenger cars on the market. So whether you're looking for a dash cam battery pack for your gas powered hatchback, sedan, or even your Tesla and other EVs, all the battery packs you find on Black Box My Car will work. Commercial or heavy duty vehicles like large trucks, buses, they have 24 volt electrical systems due to the vehicle's higher power needs and long cable runs. Now for those vehicles, you're gonna need the Blackview battery pack like the B130X. Absolutely you can. Many of the dash cam battery packs come with a five volt USB power port that you can use to charge any accessories such as a phone or a Wi-Fi hotspot. So last but not least, we do wanna take some time to answer some hard hitting questions that we often see on YouTube, Reddit, or dash cam talk. So I've got a 10,000 milliamp power bank. Isn't that gonna give me more power than any of the dash cam battery packs? So to answer this question, we need to consider voltage and the type of battery. Higher power density batteries have a higher capacity for a given volume. So in other words, at the same capacity, a lithium ion phosphate battery is gonna be bigger than a lithium ion or a lithium polymer battery. However, consumer electronics such as your phone and car accessories like a dash cam generally assume different voltage value. The milliamp rating of power banks is usually based on a voltage of 3.7 volts. For a 10,000 milliamp battery, the total capacity is 10,000 milliamps times 3.7 volts divided by 1,000, which is 37 watt hours. Now by comparison, the Blackview PowerMagic Ultra Battery B130X has a capacity of 7,500 milliamps at 12.8 volts, which translates to 96 watt hours. 
So to put it plainly, your power bank will not be able to provide sufficient power to run your dash cam's parking mode. You might be wondering, why can't Blackbox My Car or Blackview just make bigger battery packs? According to regulations, we can only safely transport batteries up to 7,500 milliamps or 100 watt hours. If you're limited by space and you don't need a high capacity battery pack for parking mode, then the Thinkware Ivo BAB50 is definitely the battery pack that's worth considering. If you often need to park your car for extended periods of time, or if you're running a two or more channel system in your car, then we strongly recommend a Black Box My Car Power Cell 8 battery pack. You can always add more extended battery packs to increase the overall power. If you're running a Blackview dash cam and prefers to keep everything Blackview, including the app, then the Blackview B130X would be a great choice. What we love about the B130X is that you can control your Blackview dash cam, cloud account, and battery pack all within one app. And you might be wondering, why aren't we recommending the Celink Neo? Because Celink is constantly introducing new battery packs, the Celink Neo has actually been discontinued. I hope this video helped you decide which battery pack best suits your parking mode needs. You can learn more about the battery packs on our website, but if you have more questions, you can always find us on live chat, email, or even give us a call or drop a comment down below. You're also gonna find battery pack buying guides, installation guides, and much more on our website. Now, if you're ready to make a purchase, you can use exclusive YouTube code BBMCTube at checkout to take 5% off. Support us by liking and subscribing to our channel today. Thanks for watching.